What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tektrix back with another video and today we're going to show you how to fix your black screen iPhone, the one that can't turn on like this one. Here we go! First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca and here we go! And today we're looking at iMyPhone Fixpo iOS System Recovery. Basically, if you are, your iPhone or iPad or even Apple TV won't turn on, you'll be able to fix it right away using this software. There are many times where I wanted to call Apple support and it takes so long. With this software, you'll be able to fix your problem right away. Without further ado, let's show you how it's done. Here we go. First thing you need to do is go to the website and download it. Once you've downloaded it, I'll link this down in the description below as well if you want the link for it. Once you've installed it and ready to go on your computer, plug in your device. So as you can see here, standard mode, you'll be able to have fix a few things here. White black screen stuck on Apple logo, stuck in reco recovery mode, boot loops, iTunes errors, bricked or frozen iPhones, uh, and maybe it won't turn on. There's a lot more things as well. If the standard mode didn't work, go ahead and use advanced mode. With advanced mode though, you won't be able to keep all your files. So make sure you back up before you do that. There's also the enter and exit recovery mode. Today, we're gonna show you how to fix your phone with standard mode. And also we're gonna show you how enter and, enter and exit recovery mode works. So here we go. Now that we've plugged in our device, it'll detect what device it is. As you can see here, it automatically does it. I am using an iPhone 6S Plus on this firmware version. So we're gonna go ahead and download the firmware. Once it's all done, let's go ahead and press start. This will then show us how to do, how to put our phone on DFU mode. As you could see here, depending on your iDevice, uh, this will be different. So on our device, we're gonna use the power button and the home button and keep holding the home button after five seconds. On the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, yeah, the, the home button is not a physical button anymore, so they're using the uh, volume down button. Same goes with the iPhone 8, um, iPhone 11, or uh, the latest iPhones. They're using the volume rockers for this. For the Apple TV though, on the other hand, uh, they're using the remote. If you have an older uh, third gen and second generation Apple TV. And then the Apple TV HD is also different because the remote is different. So depending on your device, uh, make sure to just follow the instructions here from uh, one, two, and three, and uh, you'll be able to put your phone on DFU mode. Once you're ready to go, put your device on DFU mode. Uh, just follow the instructions like I said earlier, and you'll be able to do it. Let's go ahead and do that on my phone. Once the software detects that you have it on, you have your phone on DFU mode and you successfully did it, it'll start the recovery right away.
And that's it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully that was able to fix your phone. If it didn't, like I said earlier, go ahead and use advanced mode. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to use enter and exit recovery mode. First step is obviously to uh, connect your phone to your computer. Next thing you need to do is click enter recovery mode. As you could see there, it's entering recovery mode right now. And there you go, we are in recovery mode. If you wanna exit, press exit recovery mode. It's that easy. And that's it for the day, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you with uh, fixing your firmware on your phone. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified of the next videos to come. Make sure to hit that like button as well so that we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.